I'm Steve, a developer on the Python Tools team at Microsoft, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can manage multiple Python environments in Python Tools for Visual Studio. When you first install PTVS, the first window to look at is the Environments window. You can open this with Ctrl and K, Backtick, or through View, Other Windows, Python Environments. If you've used or installed Python before, this list may have some items in it already. If not, you'll see a link to our instructions on getting a Python environment. Let's go ahead and install some now. A Python environment consists of an interpreter, a copy of the Python standard library, and any other packages that are either included or installed later. CPython is the most commonly used environment, and it always includes the latest features. Other available environments include ironpython for .NET, Jython for the Java Virtual Machine, and PyPy. Now we can see four environments in my list. In the list, there are links to bring up the options for each one, or to display an interactive prompt. The database for each environment contains all the information that we need to display code completion and parameter help in the editor. Right now, they all need refreshing, which will be started automatically when it's needed, or manually by clicking Refresh DB. While this is running, I can continue to work, though the suggestions in the editor may be limited or incorrect. The bolded entry is the current default, and this can be changed with any of the Make Default buttons. The default environment will be used for all new projects, and any that don't have another environment specified. So let's create a new project. In Solution Explorer, you'll see an item labelled Python Environments. Like the global list, this shows the available environments, but here it is specific to this project. Let's say our project supports CPython, but not IronPython. If we right-click on Python Environments, and then Add Remove Python Environment, we can select those that our project supports. These will then be displayed in the list. We can see that one of the two entries is bolded. This is the active environment for this project, and the global default is now ignored. If I press F5, the debugger shows that we are in CPython 2.7. To change this, I can right-click the one I want and select Activate Environment. Now when I press F5, we see we are using the other one. When I save my project, the environments in this list are saved in the project file. I mentioned earlier that you can install packages into an environment, so let's look at that. There are many free Python packages available from the Python Package Index, or PyP. You can browse or search their website to find one you are interested in, and then use PTVS to download and install it. Right-click on an environment in your project and select Install Package. In this dialog, you can enter the name of the package and select whether to use the PIP or Easy Install Package Manager to get it. You can normally leave this on PIP, but if a package fails to install, then it may work with Easy Install. When you click OK, we will download and install PIP for you before installing the package. Your installed packages can be viewed by expanding the environment in Solution Explorer. You can also uninstall packages by right-clicking them and selecting Remove. One issue with installing packages into global environments is that it will affect all projects that use the environment. This becomes a problem when you need two different versions of a package installed simultaneously. To avoid this issue, you can use a virtual environment. A virtual environment is a folder in your project directory containing a set of packages that is isolated from other projects. To create one, right-click Python Environments and select Add Virtual Environment. In this dialog, you can enter a name or path for the environment and select an interpreter to base it on. The virtual environment will have the same language version and standard library as the base interpreter, but its own set of packages. Click Create and we will install the virtual env package and create the environment. Once ready, the environment will appear in your project and can be activated and used like any other. 
I can install the package and see that it does not appear under the base interpreter. There's no limit on the number of virtual environments you can create and you can remove or delete them from inside Visual Studio. While the project is open, they will appear in the environments list, where you can refresh the database or open an interactive window. Trying to use a virtual environment for multiple projects reintroduces the issue that it was supposed to solve, so you should generally make a new one for each project. In this video, I've shown you how to view and install your global Python environments, how to associate these with a the project, how to install packages, and how to create and use virtual environments. Find our other videos, documentation, or get help at pytools.codeflex.com.